You're listening to the Miss Artastic Podcast. Inspiration for art teachers. Here's your host, Kathleen McGivern. Emily Carr, teaching nature's canvas and indigenous artistry in your classroom. Discover the power of Emily Carr's art and indigenous perspectives in your classroom. Elevate your teaching with nature-inspired lessons and culturally inclusive strategies. My guide supports um, educators in creating engaging and empathetic and enriching learning experiences. So let's dive in to today's podcast. Welcome dedicated educators to a space that's tailored just for you. In the whirlwind of lesson plans, curriculum requirements, and the ever-evolving needs of your diverse students, we understand the challenges that you face. I'm here to lend a helping hand and, uh, and an understanding ear and a wealth of inspiration. Today, together, we embark on a journey that intertwines the beauty of nature's canvas with the richness of Indigenous artistry. Um, in your classroom. As you navigate the intricate tapestry of education, know that your efforts do not go unnoticed. Let's explore how the remarkable legacy of Emily Carr can be your guiding light, igniting curiosity and fostering inclusivity in every corner of your teaching universe. Understanding your needs. So I understand that in each day of my life as an educator, um, it is a whirlwind of responsibilities. So from crafting lesson plans to assessing student progress, the demands on time can often feel unrelenting. The ever evolving landscape of education introduces new challenges with curriculum demands and learning standards uh, continually, continually evolving. Um, Juggling these elements while catering to the unique needs of every student is no small feat. I recognize the dedication I pour into my work and the importance of finding practical solutions that resonate with students' diverse backgrounds and learning styles. The classroom is not just a physical space. It's a canvas where you can paint the strokes of knowledge and inspiration that can last a lifetime. I empathize with the pressure that it I feel to make every lesson that I create for you engaging, every interaction meaningful, and every moment memorable. I'm not just imparting information, I'm nurturing curiosity and sparking a love for learning and shaping the future and hopefully inspiring you to do the same. The responsibility to create an environment where students feel seen, heard, and empowered is immense for teachers. I recognize this passion and I hope that my support to you can help you bring um, these, this also, this passion to your students. And I'm here to provide a set of tools uh, that you can use to transform in your classroom into a place of wonder and discovery. Because every effort I invest in um, will hopefully help shape the students that are in your classroom that have the potential to shape the leaders and in, and become the inventors of tomorrow. So enter Emily Carr. In the realm of art and inspiration, few figures shine as brightly as Emily Carr, a Canadian icon renowned for her evocative paintings and profound uh, connection to nature. Carr's legacy is a treasure trove of ideas waiting to invigorate um, a classroom. As an educator, I recognize the power of weaving real world experiences into art lessons and Carr's life story and work provide a perfect canvas for this endeavor. Carr's artistic journey is a testament to the pursuit of passion and the resilience needed to carve one's path. As I delve into her life, I am reminded that education isn't just about transmitting knowledge, it's about fostering the courage to explore experiment, and express. Carr's determination to overcome obstacles and embrace her unique perspectives in a male-dominated art world is a narrative that resonates beyond the canvas. It's a story of empowerment that I share with students um, and to you educators to instill the value of self-belief. 
Beyond her personal narrative, Carr's deep resonant rever sorry, Carr's deep reverence for nature ignite ignites a spark within me. In a world increasingly dominated by screens, her immersion in the natural world feels like a breath of fresh air. I'm inspired to take students or encourage you to take students beyond the classroom walls, encouraging them to see, feel, and capture the beauty of the world around them. Whether through uh, outdoor sketching sessions or lessons under the open sky, um, Carr's passion for the environment really can become a catalyst for teaching and remind you that the greatest lessons often lie beyond the textbooks. However, it's not just Carr that it's not just nature that Carr embraced. It's the rich tapestry of indigenous cultures that intricately woven um, that are woven in her artistic perspective. Her interactions with indigenous communities and her incorporation of their artist artistry into her work reflect a sensitivity and inclusivity that I strive to bring into a classroom. By integrating indigenous art and perspectives, I hopefully enrich students' understanding of diverse cultures while fostering respect and open-mindedness. In this podcast episode, I'm going to delve deeper into how you can infuse CAR's principles into teaching practices from nature-inspired um, activities to incorporating indigenous art. Each step is a testament to the innovative ways her legacy can transform a classroom. So let's embark on this journey together um, where Car Emily Carr's world becomes a boundless realm of exploration, growth, and inspiration for hopefully your, you and your students. Teaching with Nature's Canvas. As I stand at the intersection of education and inspiration, I'm excited to delve into the practical applications of Emily Carr's philosophy within a classroom. Carr's deep affinity for the natural world opens up a realm of possibilities to engage and hopefully you allow you to captivate your students in ways that transcend traditional teaching methods. One of the key takeaways from Carr's approach is her keen observation of the environment around her. I'm inspired to lead student to lead you on a journey to hopefully inspire you and your students on a similar journey of exploration, encouraging um, hopefully to encourage students to observe and document the world uh, through a discerning eye, whether through nature sketching, outdoor journaling, or scientific field trips. Carr's emphasis on keen observation becomes a gateway to merging artistic expression with scientific inquiry. Through her lens, I see an opportunity to spark curiosity um, and nurture a lifelong love for learning in students. Moreover, Carr's connection with nature isn't just confined to an art class. It extends its branches into various subjects from geography to mathematics. The patterns, colors, and textures that she extracted from nature can serve as a bridge to understanding mathematical concepts, fostering interdisciplinary connections that can er enrich anybody's teaching approach. By integrating um, Carr's principles, you're not only infusing creativity within your lessons, but you're also creating a dynamic learning environment that accommodates diverse learning styles. Furthermore, the very act of teaching with nature's canvas instills a sense of environmental stewardship within students. In a world grappling with eco um, ecological challenges, Carr's deep rever reverence for nature becomes a powerful tool to inspire the next generation of environmental advocates. Through hands-on activities and thoughtful discussions, um, you are providing an opportunity to cultivate a generation that not only appreciates the beauty of the natural world, but also feels compelled to protect it. In the upcoming sections of this podcast, I'm going to delve deeper into ways that you can seamlessly weave Carr's connection into nature with your curriculum, ensuring that each lesson becomes a vivid brushstroke on the canvas of your students' education. Um, together, let's embark on this journey of transformation where nature's wonders and Emily Carr's insights converge to create an unforgettable learning experience for your students.
indigenous artistry in the classroom. As I continue to explore the expansive landscape of Emily Carr's influence, I'm drawn into a dimension that is equally vital and enlightening, indigenous artistry. Carr's profound respect for her indigenous cultures and her incorporation of their art into her own work offer a meaningful template um, for me to um, guide you in introducing cultural diversity and inclusivity into your classroom. Carr's in um, interactions with indigenous communities stands as a testament to her curiosity and willingness to learn from different perspectives. Similarly, I hope that you're compelled to embrace the richness of indigenous cultures as a valuable resource to deepen your students' understanding of the world. By integrating indigenous art and narratives, I hope that you can help broaden your students' horizons and nurture a spirit of respect for diverse traditions. Moreover, Carr's approach invites me to facilitate um, with you and then hopefully you with your students open, open discussions about indigenous cultures, histories, and contemporary issues. By approaching these topics with sensitivity and respect, you can create a safe space for your students to engage in thoughtful conversations. This not only enriches their understanding, but also equips them with the tools um, to help them navigate an increasingly interconnected world with empathy and cultural competence. Incorporating Indigenous artistry goes beyond mere aesthetics. It's a commitment to decolonizing education and amplifying voices that have been historically marginalized. Through artistic projects, storytelling, and collaborative initiatives, you can empower your students to appreciate the beauty of Indigenous art while recognizing its significance in reclaiming cultural heritage. As you look towards the future, um, and as I delve deeper into the following sections, I'm going to be talking about practical strategies for integrating um, Indigenous artistry authentically respect and respectively. Together, we're going to harness the wisdom of Emily Carr's approach and weave the vibrant threads of Indigenous cultures into the tapestry of classrooms. Fostering an environment where culture is celebrated and every student is enriched. Creating inclusive lesson plans. As I navigate the path of, tran of educational transformation in, um, inspired by Emily Carr's legacy, I'm deeply, deeply committed to weaving inclusivity into the fabric of lesson plans that I create. In a world that thrives on diversity, it's essential to ensure that um, your teaching and that for me, my um, art resources really approach and honor every student's background, experiences, and perspectives. Carr's re reverence for indigenous cultures and her incorporation of their artistry offer a valuable example of how you can infuse inclusivity into your curriculum. However, recognizing that doing so requires more than just good intentions. It demands thoughtful and informed approaches. By dedicating time to educate yourself about indigenous histories and cultural nuances, especially um, not only globally, um, but also within your own community, you can create and, uh, and develop lesson plans that are really respectful and enriching. Furthermore, for me, I'm motivated to actively collaborate um, with other artists and communities. I think it's really important to allow, um, even if you uh, yourself collaborate with indigenous communities and artists in your own community, um, you can always invite them to share their stories and insight with your students. And that can provide an authentic learning experience for your students that bridges the classroom education with real world understanding. This not only imparts knowledge, but also nurtures a sense of connection and empathy. In creating inclusive lesson plans, I'm also dedicated to creating a, a safe, I think it's also important um, to be dedicated to creating and cultivating a safe space for discussions about cultural differences and historical in injustices. By approaching these conversations with sensitivity and openness, you can guide your students towards thinking, um, critical thinking, self-reflection, and a deeper understanding of the world comple world's complexities. As, you, as we delve deeper into the upcoming sections of this post, 
of this podcast episode. I hope I am eagerly anticipating unraveling practical strategies with you um, for designing lesson plans that embrace inclusivity as a cornerstone. So again, join me for this journey of transformation where Emily Carr's values and Indigenous artistry converge um, to help us create lesson plans that uplift, educate, and inspire every student in our classrooms. Empowering Educators As I conclude this exploration into the transformative potential of Emily Carr's legacy and Indigenous artistry, I want to extend a heartfelt acknowledgement to you, fellow educators. Your commitment to nurturing young minds, fostering growth, and creating inclusive uh, learning environments is nothing short of remarkable. Each day you step into your classrooms with armed with enthusiasm, dedicated dedication, and a genuine passion for shaping the future. As you embark on your journey into incorporating nature's canvas and indigenous perspectives, remember that your efforts are a catalyst for change. Uh, change that will inspire uh, a lifelong love for learning, broaden horizons, and spark a sense of belonging among your students. In your pursuit of excellence, know that you're not alone. The wisdom of Emily Carr's approach and the beauty of Indigenous artistry stand as pillars of support, offering insight that can light up your teaching journey. But beyond these sources of inspiration, remember that your unique experiences, insights, and caring hearts are what truly make your classroom a place of transformation. As you venture forth, armed with fresh insight and um, renewed enthusiasm, don't hesitate to share your journey with us and your fellow educators by commenting in below. Um, By fostering a community of learning and collaboration, we can collectively make a profound impact on the lives of our students, helping them make Uh, helping them become not just knowledgeable individuals, but compassionate and empowered global citizens. Thank you for your unwavering dedication and for the passion that fuels your teaching and for your commitment to shaping a better tomorrow through the minds you mold today. Let's continue to learn, grow, and create together for your impact is immeasurable and your journey is invaluable.